Sheldon Gould here with SNN Custom Lawn Care. I haven't put a video up in the last couple of weeks, so I thought I'd put one up and let everybody know what's been going on around here at the shop. Well, to start, we got the skid steer back from CNC Rentals in Brandon, Manitoba. They were doing some work for me. They put a new battery in, a new ground cable for the battery, and did an oil change and gave it a wash. So uh, we got some snow. As you can see, so we've got to plow some snow, level out some ruts, or try to level some ruts in our driveway. Ground might be froze too much to do it, but we're going to attempt to do it. But uh, we're going to fire up the skid steer here. The uh, new battery sure makes a difference. It's not even plugged in, it's been sitting outside, and I think overnight it was down to about minus 18 degrees Celsius. But I can show you in here what they did. <coughs> uh, we've got new oil filter there so obviously they've changed the oil and we've got a new battery they put a new battery in there and they also put a, a new cable on the ground there it's a specialty cable had to come from Bobcat because it's got to, so many lines coming off of it and that bolt on the top so they put that on so now the skid steer is ready to roll um, I had the bucket off of it last night and cleaned out uh, where the bob attached pins go because there's some dirt frozen there we got that cleaned up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cold start here fire this thing up and let it warm up it should start right away all we gotta do is cycle the glow plugs once and it seems to fire up fine so we'll get this going and then I'll show you some other things I've been working on so we got the countdown going on now I don't know if you can see it over there, it's counting down. So once that uh, gets to zero, we can fire it up. And we'll turn the heat on in it and we'll let it warm up. on the front of the truck for the plow I had to chip some frozen dirt out of that and we're getting ready to put the plow on huh. you never know what you're gonna find laying in the yard found an old can opener I have no idea where it came from huh. so we got the plow over there ready to put on might put it on today I'm not sure I'm gonna just push some snow around here with the skid steer uh, I don't think there's enough to use a plow on the truck. Uh, the other thing we did, our water tote in the back of the truck here for hauling water. The valve on the back, the original valve, the handle broke because it froze. So I had to rig up another valve on it. But the original one is in here. And as you can see, there's supposed to be a blue handle on the top. And it snapped off. So I thought it'd be an easy fix, I'd just go buy a valve and the fitting on the ends. But this fitting has special thread. So I had to hunt all over the place and I eventually found one. Not the whole valve assembly, but just this end part. But just for that part, it was 30 bucks. So I had to go buy the rest of the parts and I've uh, put it all together so we can haul water again. So that uh, black part right up against the tank was the specialty part, which cost $30. And then I had to buy the fittings and uh, another valve to fit it all together. Uh, it's a little long than what I needed. I could have gone a little shorter on it, but I wasn't 100% sure on how much room I'd have in the tank to get the valve in. So I want to make sure that I'd be able to turn the valve and it wouldn't uh, get wedged in, the, in that uh, little hole in the tank. So we got that fixed. And now we're hauling water again. I'm not sure how long we're going to be able to haul water with the temperatures dropping. Lately it hasn't been too bad. We're only about minus 10 today, I think. Uh, another thing, uh, had a little boo-boo with the John Deere. With the John Deere X530 with the snowblower on it. Uh, I'll show you what happened. Take a walk over there while we got the skid steer warming up. I had it out a couple of weeks ago. And I was just testing the snowblower, making sure it was working right. 
and I was doing it at night in the dark and I couldn't exactly see where I was going and I don't have the snow chains on it yet so I don't have the best traction so what happened is I was over here by the shed and I was just blowing some snow around here and I was going along the driveway here and there's a culvert about, oh, about here I think and I slid over the edge of the ditch and because I didn't have my chains on I had no traction so I got stuck so I had to go to the shop <coughs> grab a chain and the truck so I went over to the shop through the chain and the truck and came over here backed up and hooked the chain on around the front axle and when I went and jumped into it and went to pull on it when I took off the chain came unwrapped and came up and caught the hood and ripped the whole hood off and ripped the chute off the snowboard and put a big crack <coughs> in the air breather cover. So now I got parts on order for this. <coughs> so I'm not happy with myself on that one. I had the chain wrapped around here and it came up because it was over the top of the snow blower to the truck came up caught the hood here flipped the hood up sliced the hood in half and bent the hood down and as you can see there's the chute broke the chute off because it's a plastic chute so now the snow blower on the tractor is down the tractor runs but it's about uh, fourteen hundred dollars worth of damage so for the meantime I've just ordered the cover for the air breather so I can get that covered up and a chute for the snow blower so at least we can get this up and running if we need it I'll uh, just run without a hood until I get a chance to get a hood and when you get a hood it comes in like a million pieces and you have to put it together but uh, here's one side of the hood split in half and then there's the front bumper got ripped right off and then the other half of the hood is over here, <coughs> sliced in half, sliced the lights right out of the front, so I got no lights on it either right at the moment. But uh, yeah, I had a little boo-boo, so now I've got to get that fixed. Other than that, it runs fine. It's just a little bit of cosmetic problems, but still, I'm not happy about it. So yeah, waiting on parts for that. So that was my big boo-boo that I had. I wasn't having a good day that day. I can't remember what else went wrong. But there's a few things. But that was the major thing. Uh, I know I put a description of what happened up on Facebook a few days ago. And people were asking me to put a video up. So I thought I'd throw a video up and show them exactly what happened and how much damage was done. So, yeah, that wasn't a good thing. So, yeah, now we're going to plow the driveway. I won't be able to do that on video. I got no way to hold my camera and drive at the same time. <coughs> but we're gonna attempt to level out some ruts and push some snow around here. Um, trailer's up by the house there. Uh, we're pulling insulation and stuff out of the basement. Haven't quite got a load, but soon. I wanna get that to the dump and uh, get it moved around. That way if we get a bunch of snow, it's not gonna be stuck up there and I can't get the truck to it. Uh, if I have to, I guess I'll just back it in there because it's right along the edge of the driveway. But the way it's pulled in there now, I'm not going to be able to get to the hitch once we get a little more snow. <coughs> um, that's about it, I think. Uh, skid steer was away for about a week and a half. We just got it back here a couple of days ago. So got it all ready and fueled up. And we're going to be able to do snow removal if we get some calls here. And uh, Chuck's got the new battery and the new tires, so it's ready to go. Uh, throw the plow on and it'll be ready. And then as soon as I uh, go pick up the parts for the John Deere, at least I'll be able to get the snow blower up and running. And uh, we've got to put the snow chains on it yet, so that'll be the next thing. So that's about it. Uh, I'm Sheldon Gould with SNN Custom Lawn Care. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll try and do another video in a couple of days. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and share. Bye.